Hello, and thank you for joining me on this video. Today we'll be discussing how to create, name, and utilize user added fields. We're going to start off by going to the asset files. The asset files are available under the files icon in the main navigation ribbon. From here in the asset file, we'll press the add new button. Access to the field control settings can only be found in the new records window but changes that are made will carry across to all the existing records. In the Add New Record window, we're going to press the Edit Fields button. Once the record has reloaded, you'll notice things have moved around a little bit and there's some new options that have appeared. One of the most common things to do with field control is to rename existing fields. This can help ease the learning curve of the software by adapting it to your existing verbiage. To change any field name, simply double-click the title retype it, and press enter. Down here in the lower white panel we have the option for making a new field. We just need to select the field type from the Add Field drop-down menu. The available types are text, which will accept alphanumeric and special characters, numeric, which will only accept numbers, date, which will require the information to be in the standard date format, and URL, which will become a clickable link for the user. And once the type has been selected, the new field will appear and be ready to be renamed. The blue X next to the line will remove that field from the record, and the blue plus button will add that field to the transactions. The user-defined fields can be created in any of the existing tabs. Users will also be able to create their own tabs and provide it with the name. To make a new tab, simply press the plus button at the end of the tab list. A new window will pop up asking for the name of the tab. And once entered, it'll take you right in there with the ability to add custom fields already set. Now in the user defined tabs you'll also see a link to remove the tab which will delete the tab and all of its fields. Once we're done with the modifications to the record we'll need to hit the save fields buttons for the changes to be saved. Once we've done that we can close the record. So now we're just going to reload the asset screen. This will update the edit columns list to include the new custom fields. All of the custom fields, regardless as to which tab they are added into, will be added to the end of the list. The new fields created will also be available in the report wizard. And since we made changes to the asset file, our custom fields will be accessible here in the inventory category. Again, just like in the edit columns list, the custom field names will always be at the bottom. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope to see you in future videos.